guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Craig. And before we show you the video, we just want to let you know that unfortunately during the rebuild of this camper, we were not anticipating uploading this content on YouTube. So the video is not shot in a traditional step-by-step -step process. Uh, we bought the camper for $800. And I think to date, uh, we're only at about $1,500 that we have total invested into this thing. So everything was done by us. Um, everything was done at our warehouse. Um, and it was all done in four months. When we got back home, the camper was in a lot worse shape than we thought when we were looking at it. We, we didn't really know all the damage. Um, the owners had told us there was some water damage, but when we got back, we really found out there was some water damage. The video is to show what you can do with a very little amount of money, um, and also working together, you can accomplish anything. Um, it has turned out better than either one of us could have expected, and you know we hope that it encourages you uh, to get out there and do something. You know, just just. Uh, Find you something you like. It doesn't have to be shiny new. You can make it the way you want. Anyway, so we're gonna do a voiceover the video just to kind of let you uh, know what we were doing. And if you guys like the work, if you if you like what we're doing, subscribe, like our video, give us a thumbs up, um, and stay tuned because we have another camper coming up that we are going to document for YouTube 100%. So everything that we're doing um, is going to be on video for you guys. <clears throat> we have uh, a couple of GoPros, some camera setups. We went and got some stuff tonight, so we're real excited. But uh, stay tuned, because we are gonna do a step-by-step -step series on the next camper. But for now, we hope that you just see the, um, the value of the start to finish work here look forward to hearing from you guys what you think what we uh, what we could do videos on for you if you guys are into redoing a camper or you're rebuilding a camper and have some questions please let us know we've learned a lot of things um, that work and a lot of things that don't work so uh, with all that being said uh, we hope you guys enjoy the video and thanks for tuning in and uh, until next time what you got? Maybe I should start over. There's nothing that you want. All the letters again. You don't know what you want. So I remember one night, Christy and I sat down and we talked about how we wanted to travel and where we wanted to travel and what all we wanted to take and it was very clear to both of us that the fifth wheel camper that we had originally purchased was too big and was just not going to work. We found this one in Tennessee about three days later. We cannot stress to you enough how important it is to stay clean and organized. Yeah, absolutely. This this step especially was uh, critical. There was a lot of things, even as clean and organized as we thought we were being, that we had misplaced. And towards the end, we discovered that next time we're going to be even more thorough. So. Um, take lots of pictures. Lots of pictures. Anything you take down, take a picture of it. There were a lot of times that those pictures saved us, and if we wouldn't have had them, because you know a lot of these things don't have owners' manuals. Mm -hmm. They don't have, you know, instruction guides, and there's no YouTube how-to or YouTube videos of you know of sorts. But 
just take extra precaution during the disassembly process. Label everything. This is that moment when you start to really worry. Yeah, yeah. We, were, we were kind of both thinking at this point, do we scrap it? Do we get another one? Is this... Is this going to be worth it? This is is a this lot beyond? Of is this beyond repair for us? Is this beyond our skill set? I don't know. This is a lot. One thing positive that came from this was that we were able to insulate the camper um, the way that we wanted to. Yeah. Um, being that we're going to be up north, some of these campers aren't insulated so well, so we got to rectify that and insulate it a little more thoroughly. So this is when it got encouraging. This is the moment that you start seeing everything coming together, all the stresses and the worries and all that kind of falling to the side. And we even had dinner uh, for the first time in the camper um, and was just able to really step back and look and think, wow, we, we did this. Kind of breathe for a little bit. Now this moment of painting was huge for me. I um, I really didn't know a lot about painting, so to be able to study that and to be able to apply that was exciting. Yeah, you'd stay up nights on end just kind of learning new things about it, and it really paid off. We decided to hand paint all these decals, um, and you know, there's several kits that you could buy off eBay at the time, um, and we had thought about that, but we really wanted something that nobody else had that you couldn't buy off eBay, um, something that, that we had done by hand. So at that point, we decided, let's not buy anything. Let's do it all, you know. Original. Original. And... Um, yeah, I, th I think that that was, a, that was a very fun part, actually. That was not so much uh, hard labor as it was just um, fun. I mean, I really enjoyed the graphics yeah. and all of it. Guys, this pretty much is uh, coming to the end of the video. Um, we hope that you got something out of it. We hope that it encourages you to get out there and do something uh, unique and to just keep pushing on. If you're in the middle of a project right now or if you're thinking about starting one, um, you know, just enjoy it and get it done. and. The end result is worth the labor and the challenges. Um, you know, I, I think that this whole thing has shown us that we can do anything. Yeah. Yeah, I just, I, um, I'm confident that together we can, we can achieve anything. And actually this picture coming up right here 
means the most to both of us. This is, this is that picture that just set it apart. That was where we were just like, wow. Wow.